Hello, I'm Clay Gresham with Tech Genius and along with uh, Derek Samuels, the creator of Otan. Uh, many of you have been asking about this new Otan uh, gaming console and I'm hearing a lot of buzz about it. Yes. And today we're going to try to uh, clarify some of the questions, speculations about this great console. And by the way, congratulations. Thank you. On your new console. Thank you. Uh, we'll start with a few questions. Uh, can you give the audience a general overview of what the Otan X console can do? Uh, a quick overview, the Otan console self-generate create games is based off an algorithm that I created. Uh, we've been working on it since 2012, uh, and actually this is actually a year anniversary of the creation of the system physically that we announced it to the media. So uh, it, it pretty much allows people to create content in the system and our algorithm create content based on templates and sprites that's based in our engine that brings all this together like making a cake and makes one complete game. Great, great. And this is the unit? Is yes, this is the prototype Otan unit. We're working on uh, a final version. Uh, we hope to have that sometime next year, 2014. Uh, we didn't hit our Indigo goal, uh, but so we had to scale back a little bit and introduce one game genre at a time, meaning for 2014, we're going to do a platform which is like Mario platform, but we're gonna do some cool platform, AI, cool stuff with it, cool stuff. Then we're gonna go into fighting or whatever, whatever our Twitter and Facebook community want us to incorporate moving forward based on the resources and financial uh, things that we have at our disposal to make it, you know, as professional as possible at this stage in the ball game. Okay, and it seems like it's lightweight, compact. Yes. Easy to use. What about colors? Is that different colors? I mean, this is the age of colors. Skittles. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that's been our trademark on our Twitter and Facebook and on our website. We want to do an array of different colors so people can get, you know, the color of their choice, you know, for their room or where they want to put the system at. Okay. Can you give us an update on the OTAN beta testing? Oh, that's a great question. We have been getting a lot of feedback from our fans on Facebook and our Twitter. Uh, when, when is going to do the beta? What's going on with the beta? Uh, the beta testing is going to be done in three phases now at this point. Like I said, we, we, we didn't reach our goal on Indigo, so we had to change our strategy and our game plan a little bit. Uh, the first part of the beta should be launched, uh, hopefully today, after this video, you can go log in to otanbeta.com. If you got a beta email link, you can sign in. The first part of the beta is going to be the Otan UI, where you can go in, see how the UI works, get a feel for it. Uh, the second phase will be the game creation. That's probably going to be in 2014, where you can go and actually create a game and watch Otan create a game. And the last phase, you said it creates its own game. Yes, it creates its own games. I mean, wow. that's amazing. I mean, a lot of people don't realize how amazing that is for a system to create its own games. Has this ever been done before? No, this never been done before in gaming. This is completely revolution. I would want to say, if I can quickly, that uh, the new consoles are amazing. We think those consoles are cutting edge, next generation for the time. But we think Oton is going to take that level of creation, creating games instantly cheaper and more efficient for gamers, meaning you don't have to spend a ton of money out of your pocket. It's going to be efficient for developers. In the last phase for the beta would most definitely be we want more features. We want feedback from the community. So we'll start adding more features once we get the UI and the game creation embedded in the server. So we won't give our physical units as planned, but we still plan to let people beta test from our server. Okay, and you mentioned something about this. There's something in it for the developers too, right? Absolutely. The developers, it's easier used, it's more efficient, because if you look around the different media outlets, developers are facing a lot more risk with game development and game development costs. Uh, when I designed Oton, I designed it to be more efficient and cost efficient for developers and also give them tools to make you know, games that you know, their resources won't allow them to make. And so that's what Oton is going to allow for developers. The big question, the million dollar question, I guess, is <laughs> what is the Oton grid? Oh, the Oton grid. The Oton grid is amazing. I can't explain it, but what I did do today, I brought a clip with me for a very special project that we've been working on, what we call the birthday present. I've been toting this around for the last year, telling people oh, the birthday present is coming, the birthday present is coming. And today I want to finally let everybody take a sneak peek, exclusive from Tech Genius. So, I brought the clip, we're going to take a look at it, and, and then I'll come back and explain the grid and the, the birthday project.
tell us about the Oton Air. How does it work? The Oton Air, the video, that, the clip that you just seen, the Oton Air is amazing. It's our next generation system, uh, PC. And it's the birthday present that we've been leading up to. And it it's so amazing. It works in conjunction with our virtual eyewear. And I brought something special for Tech Genius. It works with the Oton Air wristband. This is the first time we actually got a physical unit, the Oton wow, wristband. Man. And it works with the Oton Air. And what it does is Oton Air hovers above the user's shoulder or in proximity of the person and it scans the environment and captures it. And what the Oton algorithm does, it creates levels and lays those levels on top of the environment. So what you see in your glasses is a whole different world. So right now, if we had the Oton Air hovering above us, it would turn this world, it turn this room into probably a, 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 a room full of zombies. And we can virtually shoot the zombies and we can see it in the air through our glasses and you can experience and share in the experience of what I'm doing with the air. So, so wait a minute, let me make sure. Yeah, you're right, right, uh, right, right. You're saying that um, you can turn, I can go outside, put the glasses on. With the air, with the, with the air, air hover, hovering. This is going to hover over me. Yes. I have this on. Yes. Okay, so that, that way they communicate. The air is tra yeah, right, tracked. Right. through that. Okay, so yes. I'm outside. I put my uh, glasses on. Yes. So I can turn it into the wild, wild west out there. Yes, you can turn it into anything that you want because the air is taking the real environment, the real world, and now our algorithm is laying layers on top of that and making a virtual 3D world. And the reason I created the air to hover is because we wanted, we didn't want our glass, our eyewear. I, I would have had the prototype didn't arrive today, so I would have had the, the eyewear to show too. But we wanted to, the eyewear to be sleek and amazing in design. So we put most of the guts inside the air so it can hover because people can take a full 360 pictures, 360 video. Uh, they can do amazing things. We, 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 we got plans beyond gaming, like for the military, for NASA, other applications we can use this for. But for gaming, it would be used for virtual 3D. Uh, video game augmentations, 360 pictures, and, and video. But for the 2014 version of the area, it won't hover, but it's going to be for developers, and they can get that at, at our Indigo page. We're going to show that at Tech Genius too, so they can pre-order the Air, not none hover, hover model for developers. Wow, wow! And it has a built-in projector too to project your screen if you don't have a monitor. Wow, amazing! So, I mean, when you mention uh, the military, that's uh, some of the things they may want to use for some of their special operations to peek around corners or to peek in. Uh... <laughs> Absolutely. And you've been in the military. I've been in the military. And, you know, we used to have fire watch. And, you know, you got to stay up and on your watch and the next person got to watch. But with the air, you can let the air hover and be your security or on a tripod to be your security while your soldiers are getting rested up for that next offensive or that next battle or that next reconnaissance mission. Yes, so. Yes. I see so many different applications we can use this, this product in. It's just amazing. But we plan to roll the actual retail version out around 2016. Wow, you heard it right here, folks. It's <laughs> out of this world. TechGenius.com. It's, it's got everything uh, from implications on here on Earth and, <laughs> and in space, you know. Right, right, right. And in space. And another thing I thought about, um, you have to get up off the couch. Some of these youngsters can get off the couch and go outside and run around and, and, and with their uh, with the hover. You know? Right. I mean, the, the, the hover part, what I thought what made it was so amazing because it's hands-free and now it allows, allows a full 360 view cortex of what's going on around you. Uh, we're going to have to develop a, a custom propulsion system to support the air and it's going to probably work with solar. But for the first versions, for the next two years, we're going to keep it simple. Like I said, the prototypes for developers will be here next year. And it's like I said, we're trying to use the Oton console for gaming uh, but also use the air to also be the most for ubiquitous PC for like if you need uh, things done in the home or questions. The air will be the first PC that comes to you instead of you going to your PC. Okay, okay. It hovers to you. Great. <laughs> Great. So is there, um, will they be able to pre-order the air? Uh, yes, they can pre-order air at, uh, we're going to put on the techgenius.com website. We just want to, we're not going to advertise it heavily, but just get the feedback. They'll be able to go to our indigo.com page, which will be on techgenius.com if they want to pre-order the air. And because uh, we had planned to do our funding in three phases, the Oton system, the air, and another product that we plan to announce later on in the year or probably next year. So we wanted to do that, but our plans got changed a little bit. So, so we're going to do it this way. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to share? I, that's about all I have. Uh, as far as the our Facebook and Twitter community, we appreciate them. The support they have given us over the last year has been, you know, a testament of our desire to create the most next generation project. We do want to clear up some of the misunderstanding and miscommunication that's on the internet of people saying misunderstanding our product and who we are. 
you know, I've been doing it for 10 years. You know me, I've been doing it for 10 years. And uh, we're legitimate about what we do. Uh, we're professional about what we do. And we're passionate about what we do. And a lot of second tier websites have been giving out the wrong information about what OTAN is and who we are. We're here to stay. We're dedicated to the product. And our goal, or my goal, is to give our fans the best of what we can give. I know sometimes we, we try to be professional, but we also want to have fun when we're introducing our products. And I hate that a, a small group of people sometimes want to take away that fun that element of fun that we want to introduce into our products. But hopefully as we move forward, we can get some type of respect and acknowledgement of what we're trying to do. And I mean, we can take criticism, but don't make it where it's just so negative where it takes the fun out of doing what we love doing, which yeah. is gaming. gaming. That's it. You can't beat that. Uh, you may want to throw out your, uh, your website, your contact info again for people who are viewing this. Yes, you can go to ingenious.com, which today should be a new website. Uh, you can reach me there through our info at Ingenious.com. Uh, we're going to break the story on Ingenious.com, and we're working with another partner to break the story on their website. But uh, that's all I really have for today, and uh, we really appreciate Tech Genius uh, for allowing us to, to uh, come in and uh, display the air for the first time. All right, and uh, we appreciate you coming in and giving us the scoop on this. And one, I've got a couple of more questions before we go right quickly. Sure. Uh, will testers get OTAN demo units? Uh, beta testers will not be able to get the OTAN unit uh, because, like I said earlier, is that we didn't hit our goal at Indigo, but so we're going to allow everybody to work from the server. Okay. The beta testing from the server. Okay. And uh, what, what will OTAN gameplay be like? Uh, the OTAN gameplay, I get this question a lot. A lot of people say, well, Derek, what is OTAN gameplay going to be like? The OTAN gameplay is going to be just like any gameplay from your current console. The gameplay won't change. It's going, the graphics are going to be similar. They're going to be the same. The only thing that we're doing different is the algorithm that's creating the game content that's going to be different. As far as your gameplay, it's going to absolutely be the same in the, the test demo that we sent uh, for our Indigo. It's going to be the same. Okay, we've got time for one more question sure, before we sure. go. Um, mm -hmm. Will OTAN support all types of game creation? Yes, OTAN would create all type of game creation. A lot of people get confused, like, you know, what will what OTAN do as far as the creation? Now, like I said before, uh, next year, we're going to work strictly on platform. When the system come out, it's going to be on platform. But if we get the support we need and get some uh, some things that we're working on behind the scenes as far as financial goals, we can do more game gemmers. But for the box itself, when it come out, we're going to concentrate on platforms. It's going to be a whole bunch of levels, a whole bunch of things you can do on that. And we'll keep adding different game gemmers as we come, as we develop, as we go. Okay, okay. Well, we appreciate you giving us a scoop. Thank you. On the old time and the new air system. And we're looking forward to that coming out here shortly. And uh, folks, thanks for uh, tuning in, and uh, remember, O-Time. Next generation. <laughs>